Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? I can't remember if I did a back-to-back -back with you guys because in order for me to remember, I would have to see 4,000 likes and I don't see that. Awkward, right? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares at this point? No, I'm kidding. So if you guys like a long format where I do astrology, tarot, um, cartomancy, elestral, the only thing that you so that you can talk to me, tell me your name, okay, is um, click the like button and then if we reach to 4,000 likes, we keep it coming, okay? We keep it coming every day. You can get a, you can get a reading here every mother day, just like the Scorpio because if it reached to 4,000, it's like, you can ring my bell. Oh, we dance move today. Okay, we have a budget. Okay, so but yes, uh, four thousand likes, you get a reading every day. How simple is that? But if we don't want to like him, that's up to you. I mean, it's just a regular read, meaning you guys get the, you know, the usual weeklies, bi weeklies, just in case you guys want a, a reading every day. But if you don't want, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. How's the big shift? All right, we're gonna start with astrology first before the tarot. How's the big shift? The big shift in what, Sam? Okay. Saturn is in Aquarius. Zero degrees. Okay. This is hotness. All right. This is the birth of a planet. And it is in what nakshatra right now. If you don't know your chart, you can also go in the description box below. Get a one-year prediction, six-month prediction, or interpretation. So it's in the Nishta. Oh, this is the beat of the drum. And this is the um, ruled by Mars. Okay. So... Zodiacs are not all the same. You guys are divided into three nakshatras. And then there's padas after that also. So an aqua will never be the same as the next aqua. And so on and so forth. Uh, and I read this to ascendant or moon sign. But your dasha, of course, and your antar dasha is more important than the transit. The strength of the, dig the dignity of the planet also has to be checked before you can even do the transit. So chances of a transit manifesting is big because there's a lot of people who watch this. But it's also much better if we look also still at the Dasha. Because if you're going to a Saturn Dasha and Saturn is in Aquarius, then we're talking a lot of things over here. We would need to do some puja, okay, meaning some prayers. Okay. This is discipline and focus is what you're gonna get here. Now you may feel a little bit hot headed with Mars in Aquarius right now. Um, you may feel a lot of pressure. Okay. It's in the first house, so it's in the head. Mm. A lot of buildup, a lot of tension, a lot of things that you want to do, take action, because Mars is all about action, but Saturn is not. So you will have this energy of go, 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 but then you will say it's like maybe not. Because if you do that right now, I feel like it's g coming out of haste. It is going to be here, for I believe, for the two months, and it's going to go retrograde to Capricorn. So you'll have a sense of relief after. But for now, I would need you to be more patient, and um, if there's any remedy that I would recommend for you to do um, is to help the elderly. Okay. Help the el elderly. Um, people who live in the in home facility, like the, I forgot what it's called. But people who are living, like, you know, who are not, who are older than us. You know, I don't know how to politically say it, you know, but in care, you know. So you could do that. A lot of exercise is what you need to do also. Because since you have a lot of pressure inside your head, to remove this uh, pressure, you would need to start um, exercising and doing some sort of um, activities. It's also looking at your fourth house, of course, and your seventh house and your tenth house. So which only means that there's going to be pressure at home, pressure in relationship, pressure in career. Every time it's in the first house, okay, these are Kendra houses. So it does build pressure. Mm -hmm. And Saturn is here, same thing. It's going to go to those uh, aspects of your life. So a lot of things right now are changing in relationship, changing in home, car, conveyances, the way that you look at life, how you're comfortable with things, certain things and not, how you see yourself in career, um, in your job that you're doing. These are all being affected right now. For others, you may feel like you want to change a job and start a new, your own business at the same time. It is looking at, of course, say Daryl Scorpio, um, which is also Mars ruled, because that is your 10th house. 
you your career normally always takes like a, I feel like you're like, I'm I'm feeling like back of the house. You don't want to be out there. You're more of like a a support. You're more of like I don't know. That's what I'm um picking up. Money comes to you though, pretty good with Jupiter and Venus in your second house. Sustenance, healthy eating should be a focus also. Um, here meaning savings is good, but eating habits has to change. A lot of sweet, a lot of sour. This is what I'm uh, what I'm picking up from you. So be careful because you have um you may have like this appetite for food, um pleasure food like cakes um what else like candy, chocolate you know all these things has to be um I feel like in moderation they should have that behind Snickers bar, right? Eating should be in moderation not just like alcohol okay eating sneaker bars okay so anyhow that's some parts bits some pieces passes pieces of astrology so if you guys want to have more of this go click the like what what, what do you got to lose if you click the like nothing mm -hmm. so click the like over there and it's reached to 4000 and now let's go for your um oh love child love child you get love of course, Saturn aspect of seven, also Mars aspect of seven. And they're, they're not ruler of relationship for you, though. Of course, it's the sun who rules your relationship. Right now, it's being, um, it got chewed by Rahu. So relationship is a struggle. But I feel like where love is born, right, is the fifth house. And Mercury is going to go retrograde on May 10. When it retrograde, it can be a friend who will fall in love with you. <laughs> Just say. <saying. laughs> okay. Or a car salesman, or a person who's, who cooks, either a chef, car salesman, um, a friend, uh, someone who does research, okay, let's see what else, or someone who's a sports enthusiast, very sporty, okay, those are the people I'm seeing uh, that will fall in love with you, I'm not making fun of you, uh, but normally you do go for people who have good stature in the society, have a good reputation, family lineage is very important to you, so those are factors for you to um, to fall in love. Um, I'm seeing here, um, it's also, the way I look at, dun, 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 dun. I'm just looking at it. Okay, it can also be a person who is gone, who has already been divorced and separated, and this is their second marriage for others. A foreign person though, uh, whoever you're meeting or falling in love with, foreign. So not in your the same ethnic background as you. You got me on this one, okay? So that's love. So you will have, because mm -hmm, it's aspect. All right, so let's see the tarot, the tarot, tarot, row, row, tarot, rear boat, gently down the street, <laughs> row, row, tarot. Okay, let's see for the aquas. Okay. Oh, two of cups. Bam, chica, wow, wow. Okay, love and two of cups sold to the highest bidder, right? Okay, and I said it, love is born. Mm hmm. Sometimes I think I'm a psychic medium, but when I do my feeding, I am a psychic large. <laughs> okay, two of cups. I do joke a lot, talk about other things that is nonsense to the reading. That's me. I'm not going to change. So if you don't like it, you got to go, boo. Mm -hmm. Love in the two of cups over here, it shows that you are at mercy. This is what they're saying um, of someone because you are already spellbound. You love them. They love you. You know that, Aquarius. You know that. As an Aquarius myself, okay, I know love okay, is very tricky. It is our Achilles uh, to anyone, actually. So you have been thinking, oh, the tower, of course. There it is. <laughs> Ten of swords. <laughs> I feel like if this is a song, can we talk for a minute? Can we talk for a minute? Okay, Girl, I want Ten of swords with a tower. The moment it started, it ended already. Mm -hmm. But let's see. With the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Four of Swords, you're thinking and analyzing this right now. This is something that you feel that, okay, I'm in love, but I don't know why it's not working out. I'm in love. They're in love. But why did we break up? A lot of questions. Uncertainty is the Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. It's what I feel like. It's so uncertain. Shaky foundation. Uncertainty with the Ten of Swords. You feel just like giving up because... There is something about the communication between the two of you that you can't seem to connect. You can't seem to grasp, you know. There's love, but where's the relationship? That's one of the questions. There's love, but why are we not together? 
there's love, but why do I feel uncertain with you? You know, when you love someone, they just give you this comforting energy. It's called an earth sign. <laughs> and it just feels so grounded. That's an earth sign. You know, when you love someone, it's so unstable. That's a water sign right there. <laughs> you know, when you love someone and you just always go zero to 100 with everything that you guys do, that's a fire sign right there. And you know, when you love someone, when it's just smooth and just flowing, that's an air sign right there. <laughs> so now ask yourself, what is this combination of the person? Is there ascendant earth? <laughs> Water moon? <laughs> what else? What else did this person give you a different combination? Because you feel so uncertain. Shook it by this person. Okay. You guys are not talking. You want to reconcile. You keep having dreams about them. You want to build the foundation of this relationship and you're not going to give up with the Six of Wands. This is still you. The first spread is you. So you're quite good looking. I'm just also letting you know. Like you do get a lot of attention from a lot of people. Can be at work. Mm -hmm. um, Six of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. You're career driven. You're motivated by success in life. So you know, you know when you see what you want, you go for it. This is, what you, this is your mode. Um, moon and the Four of Swords over here. A lot of contemplation. A lot of thinking. A lot of manifesting I'm seeing here with the moon because moon is doing some sort of yin energy healing. Six of cups to the six of swords. How you wish that you guys are not separated, but I you don't know really if they're open to connect with you once again. Okay, let's see your person. Oh, so they're holding back with the four of pentacles. Yes, you got the king of pentacles, the three of swords, the nine of swords. They're frustrated about the separation. So they're kind of in a funk also. They didn't know what happened between the two of you. Three of swords, nine of swords, and a ten of wands. It's a challenge for them right now. <clears throat> I'm seeing here with the nine of swords and a ten of wands, they are regretting what they have done to you. And I feel like it's about keeping secrets. Okay. For me, what I would like you to keep is my presence. <laughs> okay. Keep, what's that? A present? <laughs> no. I don't connect with material objects. <laughs> I don't care about brand or anything. Because as long as I like it, I'll get it. It's not about the brand. If it fits, it must be. <laughs> it must be mine. Three of Swords with the Nine of Swords. They're overthinking the situation right now. They know that you've given up on them. And again, the regret that they have is they didn't speak from their heart. A heart-to-heart -heart talk always helps, you know, connection. Yes? Mm -hmm. You have the Two of Pentacles here, the Knight of Swords, the World card. They wish that this whole argument and separation is over. Um, they're trying to recover from the breakup and separation. They keep repeating this inside their head um, that what did I do wrong? But they know what they did wrong. How could I have changed it? How can I change this? I want to talk to the Aquarius. But they, they're they having their pride get in between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Especially you. Ruler of your seventh house is the sun. Good luck with the pride of your partner. <laughs> and then you're ruled by Saturn. So you're more on the, it's okay. I submit. I understand. I am here. And then the other person, no, no, no. <laughs> drama, drama. Seventh house. Okay. The ruler of drama and theater is Leo. Good luck with your relationship, Uncle. <laughs> it's always some sort of theatrics. It's always about them. Never about you. You do everything and still about them. Okay. <laughs> so, Sal, should I even consider love even though it's my first? Yes, I said love. Okay. I didn't say marriage. Big difference. Big difference. Okay. Seventh house is marriage. You could be happy dating, but never happy in marriage. Yes, I know. It gets tricky once you sign that paper. It changes you and the person because it's binding the soul. Mwa ha ha ha. Okay. But yes. So some people should never get married. They should just keep dating. Mm -hmm. You see those people, five years dating, one year married, the next year, divorce. Because they're never meant to marry. They were just good together, karmically, dating. So some people are not even good to be official. They're just good at a certain stage. But as human, we always have a desire. 
And the desire leads to what? To the destruction. So if you are in love with a person, stay in love. Don't change it. Just be with that love. That's it. The desire leads to corrupted energy. Well, we're in love now, so we should buy a house. I think so. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, that's suffocating. I'm kidding. Okay, but anyhow. Mm -hmm. So that's a change of dynamics in a person's chart. You activate a certain part of your chart when you get married. So do be careful. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, we're going to go for your grand reveal. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That's why sometimes, you know, getting married is a blessing and a curse. Some people get the blessing when they get married because their whole life is a curse. And then some people, their whole life is a blessing and they get married to a curse. I'm kidding. Look at you seriously thinking about your two ex-husbands. Of course, they were a blessing. You got kids. You have a family now. Two last names. A Mercedes in the garage. And an alimony that keeps coming. So let me ask you. Are those two ex-husbands a blessing or a curse? Mm, exactly. A blessing, Sal. Right now, they're in the private school. I'm going to my Pilates class. And I, lately, I've been doing this, you know... Life searching, writing a book. <laughs> so the two people that you married is definitely a blessing. But during the marriage, a curse. Here we go. See, it's how you look at life. Mm. I don't look at life. I pretend not to see. Two of cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's always a silver lining in any divorce. You just have to get a good lawyer. To get the good silver lining. Here we go. Let's see the two of cups. The love that you guys have shared. But in separation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it temporary? They're stressing about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three of swords. Is there other people involved? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The secrets that they kept from you. That kept you all night thinking and thinking. What are the secrets? One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if they're going to talk to you, Knight of Swords, what do they want to say? We'll go all in on that one. Because that one is, I want to talk to you straight up front, Knight of Swords, and let's hash it out. All right. So, the the usual um, long um, long format has the Oracle and all these things. I mean, the other Elestial. So, if you guys like the long format, uh, this is just like a thing that I, uh, I, got, I got together. Uh, make sure to get this to 4,000 likes and then we can have the cartomancy, the celestial psychic, all those things will be yours. Okay, so make sure you get this to 4,000 likes, Aquarius, and let's go now to the grand reveal. Answer everything that you can think of um, in the extended together with Oracle and more tarot. I'll see you guys again. Bye.